from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Stanford Studio audience. Of course, the virtuals at home. How you doing? I'm feeling overwhelmed. So let's get started. It's time for. I hope everyone had a nice Mother's Day. The food was good, the company was great. You played card games and whatever games you played with your family. I had a great day. Yeah, yeah. Preparing for today. Shout out to everybody who texts me. I apologize I didn't text you back. It's cause like, happy Mother's Day to you too. Leave me alone. <laughs> and by the way, most people, first of all, you didn't get as many texts this year as you did last year. Did you get as many texts? Mm. Did you? Mm. Maybe more heartfelt ones. Yes, yeah, there's a lot of sweet texts. Yeah, like I got some yeah. really good heartfelt mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Thank uh, you. Aw. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. That's nice. I appreciate it. I just wanted to say happy Mother's Day. There was definitely no No, no, no. It, <laughs> it didn't say, dear Wendy. It was uh, like a random, te you know, Oh, a like a, a mass text message? Yes. No. <laughs> look, look, with the brown <laughs> hands that go like this. <laughs> Pray up. <laughs> it was not a text uh -huh. blast. <laughs> anyway, today is the big day, everyone. Yeah. I'm going to reveal to you, and me, because I haven't seen it all done, uh, my wax figure later on in today's show. Yeah. <laughs> Can't think of what all I did all weekend. My son and I don't fight about much, if anything. Um, he doesn't like when I eat steak, but I do it anyway. Um, we went back to the scene of the crime, Peter Luger. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, why should I let the killer get in the way of my hunger? YOLO, you only live once. So we went and I had to say, the joint is jumping. It's not even like there's a pandemic. There's no, there, like the food is excellent. And, and my company, my date, my son was wonderful. Yeah, and, and we hung out all weekend. Mostly in the house. We like in the house. Yeah. He's so my son. <laughs> like if, even if there was no virus, uh -huh. you don't understand how much we like in yeah. the house. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. right there with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get a chance to watch what I thought was the third and final reunion for last uh -huh. night of Real Housewives yeah. of Atlanta. <laughs> right. Okay, so all the girls are still wearing their costumes and a lot, a lot of the talk was about um, that infamous night with Bolo the stripper. Oh. <laughs> so the ladies thought that Kenya shouldn't have exposed what went on that night. They're saying there's a girl code and Kenya, look, I am team Kenya on this. There's no girl schmirl code. This is a reality show. We're not friends, we're coworkers. 
you're in the rented house for a reality show where reality's got to show. Yeah. So Kenya said, take a look. And at the end of the day, we are at work. So you but viewed, the cameras were down. You viewed so her, but the cameras, the cameras were down. Weren't down. The cameras one, were down. Two, the crew had left. Yeah, the, it, it was doesn't one. You guys were covered up or the down. cameras. We're yes. still at work. Are we're in you? a cast house. Yes. I think any time that you have sex with someone or explore, as you say, is within their right. However, it's my right to exploit what they do in a cast house for a reality TV show. We are not, if they wanted to do it at home, they could have. If they wanted to go on the beach, they could have. If they wanted to go in the car, they could have. But they happened to be in the home doing what they were doing. Yeah. I, I agree with Kenya. I mean, you know, there are a lot of, um, like guys wouldn't be like this, but that's because we're women and we're a little bit more emotional. Can we agree with that? Guys wouldn't be like this. It'd be strictly no one's talking, no one sees nothing, and you know, look down. If Kenya hadn't exposed what happened at that, um, at that house though, it would have been a very, very boring season. <laughs> Kenya was doing her job. Yes. Yeah. 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 What makes for- Nice smile, Brad. Nice, thanks. Crest 3D White, 100% more stain removal. Crest, the number one toothpaste brand in America. In the meantime, so in other Atlanta news, they say that Kim Zolciak's show, Tardy, Don't Be Tardy, is being canceled after eight seasons. Oh. My feelings are kind of hurt. Yeah. Uh, you know, I like the Beerman, um, Zolci I like the Zolciak Beerman thing. All those kids and all that surgery. <laughs> you know, all those people who work for you, but you're, ver you're really nice to them. Yeah. Even down to Sweetie, who you might not have talked nice to Sweetie all the time, but Sweetie stood there and took it and showed up for work the next day. Yeah. So yeah. whose fault is that? Exactly, right. That's Sweetie's fault. Uh-huh. <laughs> Now, what will the Beermans do for money, though? Because Croy is not playing anymore. Uh -huh. And Kim is now leaving Atlanta. It's run its course. Well, the two girls, barely recognizable, but they used to be um, Brielle and... Um, <laughs> Ariana. And, and who? Ariana. Ariana. Beautiful girls. Yeah. Kim looks their age and vice versa. Well, I don't know, Kim. I mean, maybe you can Kardashian their situation. I have, it might be a little too late for that, though, because the Kardashians still have a firm hold in their situation. So it's, it's kind of hard, you know? Yeah. Now, I'll tell you, there's a football player that's got a reality show about his family that I think is, what's his name? The white guy? Uh, oh, do you mean um, Bradshaw? Yes, yes Terry, Terry Bradshaw. Bradshaw and yeah, e. the, the right. Bradshaw bunch. Uh-huh, right. Like, I can't have back-to-back -back Bradshaw bunch and Beerman brunch, but maybe... <laughs> but maybe if you just send Terry someplace with his Bradshaw bunch, it, I, I just, it never holds my interest. Kind of like Flora Obama. I tried over the weekend. I love that I, show. I, I try. Uh -huh. I, I, like, I want to love it. Right. <laughs> and there's certain scenes that I love, but it's not a whole show. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's crazy. Anyway, Kim posted that they were coming back to TV. Okay. But there is nothing confirmed. She's just putting it back out there. Is it coming back? But the Beerman Bunch is. I don't know what they're going to do for money. Can she join Atlanta again, Housewives? Yeah, we said it's beneath her. Like she's outgrown the show. Damn, what, she, what do they do? Anyway, um, Tom Hanks' son, white chocolate. <laughs> Is 
is allegedly begging for money oh. from his fans. What? Now look, this is Forrest Gump's son, okay? <laughs> but a fan wrote Chet, I love you. And Chet wrote back, look, uh-huh. You got some money for me, baby? What's the most, what's the most you can give me right now? The fan wrote $22 and Chet wrote, how about $200, I got bills to pay. <laughs> it's very sad, but you wanna know what? What's sadder is the fan who's engaging in this. Chet, you got a real racket going on with these people. If you could get 200 bucks from each person, do you think his parents still give him money? I think that they still quietly look out for him. You know, like maybe they pay his rent directly to the rent people or his mortgage directly to the mortgage people. But I, I do think that, you know, he gets a nice watch for his birthday. If he doesn't want to have it, the parents aren't gonna be mad if he secretly sells it on the underground. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. If this was your son, wouldn't you tell him to stop? I would have him stop immediately. But I somehow feel as though Rita and Tom are like checked out of this whole situation. You know, they're off with their own lives. You know, she's a, a breast cancer survivor. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't she, think I remember that. No. Okay. Never mind. No. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. But they had COVID running rampant. They both had home. COVID. Yeah. And I think he has diabetes, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. The bad kind. I think so. Not that there's a good kind. But Not exactly. He's got the bad kind. So Chet is now doing cameo videos for 200 bucks. <laughs> now once they push this um, thing out here, if Chet came out behind it, we made a video. <laughs> You gave him the 200 bucks? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, just take a look at this. Big up! The whole island massive. It's your boy Chet and I coming to you live in full effect straight. Yo, what's up, guys? Um, if you want a shout out, hit me up and I got you. I'm going to do my best to make you laugh and uh, maybe make you cry. Tears of joy. Unless you're trying to get roasted, which I'm going to flame your ass. So uh, hit me up, let me know what you want to do. Let's get it. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> it is funny. I hate to be laughing at him and with him. Damn. Okay, so there's more trouble for Trigger. Well, we were just talking about him last week. Yep. <laughs> Still cute. Okay, so here's what happened. According to TMZ, there's a woman who alleges that she and Trigger got in an argument while in the cars. So this just happened this past weekend. This, exactly, exactly, exactly. This to me is clear road rage. They don't know each other. There's no um, train going on back to a party house or anything like that. So she does something where she turns, he ends up hitting her from the side, but then he pulls back and, and tries to escape the scene of the car. Well, she gets out of the car, right? But he doesn't get out of the car. And he pulls off. So when he pulled off, not only had he hit her in the car, but at this point, he's hit her in the hand. Ow, my hand! Well, you know how a, you know how a um, passenger window is sticking out and you pull off so fast. Oh, by the way, this is all at midnight. Which you might say, well, who is this woman? What kind of woman is this? Probably a Trey Song special. Nothing that, that he necessarily knows. But you know, she's, she's got the formula that girls order from the internet these days. You know, that order form, you know, situation. I gotta tell you, Trey Songs, you've got to straighten up and fly right. Yes. This, this whole thing with you. 
This is not good. You know, it's no secret that you have a history of bad behavior. Last week, you, the bartender is chewing you, uh, suing you for punching him in the head. Then in 2016, he got arrested for destroying a stage after his act was cut short. Look at him go. And then he, and then he punched the cop after that, backstage. Then he, right, punched the cop in the face uh -huh. backstage, backstage after that. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Um, okay, so here's what's going on now. Um, Tristan Thompson's lawyers are going after Sydney Chase still. Now remember, Sydney is claiming that she and Tristan had an affair. Um, it was a fling while he was still with Chloe. Now, Chloe hasn't addressed the fling, nor has Tristan addressed the fling directly, like to us, instead he's got lawyers involved. I was telling, oh, oh, I was telling you that she had text messages that she was saying, she has text messages proving that she and Tristan were having an affair with a timestamp at the particular time that he was with Chloe. So now Tristan, this has just transpired over the weekend, Tristan's lawyers are now demanding that Sydney show the text that Tristan allegedly sent her or face being sued. Well, first of all, <clears throat> you've said enough. And Tristan has, has given us enough bad behavior. I, like, I could believe everything Sydney's saying. Yep. And if it's not true, Sydney, I get why you're, why you're involved. You're still in your 20s. You're trying to be a pop star <laughs> or a Kardashian or something. You're trying to do something with your life. <laughs> you can make up no reasons for not showing you these texts. So show us the tax. Yeah. Oh. In the meantime, um, over the weekend, Sydney did have a job. She hosted an event at the Hustlers Club in Vegas. Go with your strengths. Why not? Why not? I say good for Sydney. The food there is very good, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. I've never been to that one, but they have one here. Anyway, so for Mother's Day, Tristan posted, just Chloe and I love you. But didn't post a picture of the baby's mother that Chloe was cheating on him with when she was pregnant. Yeah, he didn't post that baby's mom. Mm. See, Tristan, you're part of the problem with yeah. it. As a matter of fact, you're all the problem yeah. with this. If you wanted to wish her Happy Mother's Day, you should have sent it pri privately. Like, stop force feeding us about this relationship. We, we, we really do have other lives than, fi <laughs> than keep it up with the Kardashian Jenners. We really do have other lives. <laughs> You saw it? I saw it. It's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Really? It's amazing. You are going to love it. It's amazing. Oh. It's like the best one I've ever seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm hmm I haven't seen it yet. You haven't? Uh-uh. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm, I'm anticipating it. Uh -huh. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said I don't want to see it, and I don't want to see it in the beginning of the show. I want to, you know, kind of... Wait, Rock you back. haven't seen it? No, 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 no. Oh. I've only seen from like the shoulders up. That's the one I got and I uh -huh, told you, I sent uh -huh. it to my mother and she's like, a nice dress, yeah. you know, whatever. You know, <laughs> why are you sending me this? Your hair looks nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's that accurate. They said face was really important. Yep, it's perfect. I still look like that? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
nobody around here act foolish. All my bosses, every, everybody's boss is going to be here, okay? <laughs> yeah, people are flying in, uh, like there's something about to happen. Uh -huh. Everybody act normal. <laughs> okay. Act. <laughs> oh, that's it for Hot Topics. We got more great show for you, everybody. Still ahead, we are going to reveal my Max uh, wax figure.